Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Poncho, back at you again with another video. So as you guys know, earlier on this year, I had to sadly report on the murder of Brooklyn drill rapper Pop Smoke. So to break it down for the small percentage of you who don't know what's going on though, on the 19th of February 2020, at around 4.30am, several men had broke into a Hollywood home in where Pop Smoke was staying, and it's believed that within the time they was in the property, they had shot and killed him before making off. Of course, there was early reports that this was a robbery turned deadly but in my last video covering this I explained that from people who had seen the CCTV it seemed like none of the intruders made off with any items so it was looking more like a targeted hit. On top of this we were also discussing that there were a few posts on Instagram that leaked his address and the Facebook story which leaked his location and we were discussing whether his brother Mike D had anything to do with it and to my best knowledge it's not looking that way. So it's been a few months since then and of course everyone's been wondering why there hasn't been any updates surrounding his death and for you guys who didn't know for some weird reason the investigation had been put on hold because of the coronavirus pandemic which I found weird because I didn't realize that a pandemic could stop a murder investigation but who knows maybe it did. Also some information that's come out since my last video is that the person who made the initial call to police was actually a New York resident who was a friend of Pop Smoke after a person who was there had contacted them to tell them about a break-in who went on to say that that one of them was armed with a handgun. Also, the police had hit a quote-unquote wall of silence because no one was coming forward with any information, but that seems to be irrelevant now because it's being reported that five people have been arrested in connection to his murder. So, the LAPD tweeted out a statement saying, LAPD detectives have arrested three adult males and two juvenile males related to the February 19th murder of Bashar Jackson, a New York-based rapper known as Pop Smoke. We will provide further details as they become available. The LAPD PD have said that the three males arrested yesterday on the 9th of July 2020 are 19 year old Corey Walker and 18 year old Keandre Rogers who have been charged with murder and 21 year old Jaquan Murphy who's been charged with attempted murder while the two teenagers aged 15 and 17 were booked with murder but are yet to be charged. For the three adults the bail amount has been set at $1 million apiece. All five are believed to be a part of an LA gang but at this current time police are not stating what gang and they were arrested after detectives served search warrants throughout Los Angeles. The LAPD mentioned the killing of another man, Cameron Stone, an 18-year-old who was killed in September of 2019 while working in a cleanup crew after a football game at the Pasadena Rose Bowl Stadium, but the statement they gave was unclear if any of the five had anything to do with that murder or if it was the gang they were a part of. But the statement reads, During the course of the investigation, it was revealed that members of a Los Angeles street gang were involved in the murder of Jackson, aka Pop Smoke, as well as the murder of 18-year-old Cameron Stone. Now remember how I said at the start of the video how it first looked like a robbery gone wrong, but then the police had brushed that theory off? Well, in a statement yesterday, they came out to say that the evidence indicated that this was in fact a robbery gone wrong. Captain Jonathan Tippett, who oversees the Los Angeles Police Department's Elite Robbery Homicide Division, said it's their belief that the five who were not known to Pop Smoke probably went to the home because they knew he was there from the leaked address on social media media posts. He said initially they didn't have the evidence to say that this was a robbery gone wrong but then they discovered some evidence that showed after the gang had entered the property a confrontation broke out and of course Pop Smoke ended up dying and it's believed that some stuff was in fact stolen and a home invasion gone wrong was more than likely the case but he went on to say that he couldn't go into depth about what was stolen on that night. To the claims that this might have been a hit from a rival New York gang, he also went on to say that Pop Smoke and his entourage are not believed to be associated with the gang, as this gang is based out of Los Angeles. So of course, as this investigation develops, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated, but I hope now it's a little bit clearer for you guys to what happened on that night, and at least now we know that this was more than likely a targeted home invasion gone wrong, although they didn't know Pop Smoke rather than a gang hit or the other conspiracy theories that are out there at the minute. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Poncho and I'm out.